Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to launch an orchestration from the Enterprise One user interface, including composed pages that provides a simple tabular user interface for users to provide inputs to the orchestration, including rows and columns of data. Rosie is a business analyst and she needs to create purchase orders without navigating to multiple applications or performing multiple steps. She wants a simplified user experience to complete the task so that she can focus on increasing customer satisfaction and sales. To perform the task in this tutorial, you must have completed these steps. Install JD Edwards Enterprise One Application Release 9.2 with Tools Release 9.2.6.4 or later. Enable the Composite Pages feature View, Action and Content Security to associate an orchestration in created an automated business process and use it in Composite Page. This tutorial uses the JD Edwards Enterprise One demo data for the task. You can use other data available in your system to complete the task. For this tutorial, let's consider that an orchestration is created to add a new order in the Purchase Order Entry application P4310 and an array input is defined as the input format for the item number field. Let's access the Composed Enterprise One page. From the Login Username drop-down menu, select Manage Content under the Personalization category and then Composed Pages. Now, let's use the Orchestration tile to access the Configure Tile dialog box. Click the Select Orchestration or Notification icon besides the Orchestration Name field to access the Associate Orchestration wizard. Let's select the respective default values for the input field. The default values defined in the Orchestration Studio are displayed in italic font. When you place the cursor in the default value field, you can see the input data type in the balloon. Now, let's see how to associate an orchestration with array inputs. If the input type is array, then click the corresponding array icon under default value. The pop-up box is displayed that contains an array of inputs including the default values from the orchestration studio. You can modify, delete or add new rows. Save your changes in the table. Use the allow input toggle button to specify whether the field should be displayed at runtime or not. For the runtime option to be displayed, at least one of the allow input toggle buttons needs to be turned on. Now, let's complete the configuration steps. Enable the Run Synchronously toggle button to run the orchestration in the synchronous mode. Enable the Show Message toggle button to see the output message defined for the orchestration in the Orchestration Studio. Save your changes. Open the Composed Enterprise One page. Click the Quick Purchase Order tile that you configured in the previous task. In the Enter Input dialog box, enter or change the field values. If the input type is Array, then click the corresponding Multiple Inputs button under Default value in the Associate Orchestration window. A pop-up box is displayed that contains an array of input, including the default values. You can modify, delete or add new rows. Save your changes in the table. The Enter Input dialog box should look like this. Click OK. An output message is displayed and an order has been created. For troubleshooting purpose, click the information icon to see the orchestration output in JSON format. So we have successfully provided array input for orchestration launched from the Enterprise One user interface. This completes the tutorial. To learn more about this feature, visit us at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.